All right, it comes down to this bag E and the final assembly, all the last little details for the low C 22 buggy. I actually just put in the forward uh, battery stopper, this little U channel shaped thing up at the front just to keep it from moving forward. And the things that remain include painting up the body, mounting the wing, and uh, just a bunch of little, really, really small little things. Now the kit does include a set of wheels, and then it does include another set of wheels. That's pretty cool. They gave you two full sets of wheels in the kit. No tires though, because they didn't want to waste your time and money giving you tires that aren't even gonna work for your track. This is strictly a racing vehicle, so they expect you to go out and find out what tires are gonna work for your track and then get those, no matter what brand they are. So they just give you the wheels, which is actually doing you a favor. For my dry, hard-packed local track, these J Concepts barcodes will do well in the rear. And up front, I got some Proline scrubs. Yeah, I like the look of that. The wing comes pre-cut, you just have to remove the overspray film. I'm leaving it clear here, I just put a couple of stickers on it. There are a couple of wing things, little uh, plastic bushing spacer upper holder things. And then you just put a couple of body pins through it. That is now secured. The manual does not cover the installation of the body, nor does it cover any tips for how to route your wires around this tricky little setup they have here. But uh, I was able to figure out the body part okay, although I'm not so happy with how the paint job came out. I did it on request from the actual owner of the kit. Oh yeah, by the way, this isn't my car. <laughs> but uh, I think it, it's okay, but I really didn't, really didn't pull off the look I was trying for with rattle cans I probably would have done a lot better with an airbrush but that's okay i don't have any airbrush paint so this is just about done now as far as the the uh, overall uh, vehicle is concerned just need to put in the battery hold down straps which are also not covered in the manual as far as i can see and then i need to hook up the electronics make sure that i figure out a way to get all that to fit under this body there's plenty of room for the esc but then for the receiver, uh, hopefully I'll be able to figure out a way to put it down on the floor up front. And then I'm gonna get it all calibrated up and it'll be time to hit the track. This guy is ready to go. So thanks for watching these build videos. Next up will be driving the car.